basically what I'm going to show you what to do is how to get Project Lazarus working out of the box uh, as soon as you get it. So when you get uh, when you order it, you're going to receive a zip file. Uh, you're going to extract that, and it's going to make a folder named Lazarus Crawler. I just put it on my desktop in a folder there. Uh, inside that folder, you're going to have an input folder, output, config.ini. This is the crawler GUI. This is what you're actually going to double click, open, and it looks like this. And then there's these two executables, which are called by the GUI. There is a proxies file where you would actually put your proxies into it. And then there's a readme.txt that it has some explanations. So when you first get the crawler, what you'll want to do is open up your config.ini and start filling it out with important details. Uh, the first important detail that you're going to get is a license. So you'll just paste your license into this spot right here. The next important detail that you're going to need to get is your Namecheap API user and key. In order to get that, you go to the Namecheap website. If you haven't already registered, just do so. It's free to sign up. Then you go and you log in up here where it has, like it says hi, and then your username. You scroll down to manage profile. And when you get there, you click on API access. And then you'll be presented with a page where you can manage your API or request API access. So if you don't have, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't have API access yet, you'll request your API access. Then once you have your API access, there are three very important things you need to do on this page. The first two are copying your API user and your API key and pasting those here into your config.ini. The user goes here, the key goes there. The next very important thing to do is to put in your IP address for the machine where you're going to be using the crawler. So for example, the way to find out your IP address is from the machine you're going to use the crawler, go to a website named whatismyip.com. When you go here, it will tell you your IP address. Copy that IP address, paste it into Namecheap's API, type in your password, and click Add IP Address. That will allow your machine to access the Namecheap API with your user and key. The next thing you're going to need for the config INI are your Moz API ID and key. Again, Moz is free to sign up for. So you go to moz.com slash products slash API and then click on Get Started and it'll take you to the keys section. If you are not already a member, you just choose your free community account and sign up there. Then Moz will provide you a secret key when you hit generate secret key. Copy your information from there Copy your access ID and copy your secret key and put those here. So access ID and secret key. With those five pieces of information put in the config INI and your IP address added to the Namecheap API on the Namecheap website, your crawler is then ready to go. The last thing that you need is a seed list. And a seed list is just a list of URLs that you want the crawler to go looking on for expired domains. If I have another video that explains three methods I use for creating a seed list. Today I'm going to show you one more free method. This method uses a tool online called ninjaseotools.com 
slash Google URL scraper. It's very simple. You just go here, type in a keyword that you're interested in, a country that you're interested in, and click scrape. And it'll return the first 100 rows from a Google search. You then hit the export button and you save it to your crawler input folder. And I already saved this one. I named it fitness. I'll just save it again. Now you go to your input folder where I saved it. So there's that fitness file. Take a look at it and you can see it has the 100 URLs in it that we just scraped from Google for free. So now you have a seed list. Your config INI is set up. The last thing you need to do is run the crawler. What you want to do now is specify the name of the seed list. We just named that one fitness.txt. You want to specify the depth of your crawl, the number of threads you want to run. And then if you're not on a 64-bit system, you would choose 32-bit. But I'm assuming most people nowadays are 64-bit. And then you just simply click Start. And that's it. Everything should run. If you run into any problems, the most likely issue you'll run into is a name cheap API error. And the reason for this is it can take time for name cheap to update their API with your new credentials. I found it very helpful to open a chat session with name cheap support and they will activate your API immediately while you're on chat with them. And that saves a lot of time. So that's it for now. I hope this quick start guide will get you guys crawling and scraping expired domains very quickly.